Restoring internet freedom order minus the regulation. That's the goal of FCC Chairman Ajit Pai now that net neutrality is over. But what exactly does that mean for you? WNCT's Nicole Newman explains what's attempting to be done at the state level to protect you. Potentially higher prices just to access some of your favorite websites like Facebook and Twitter. It's a possibility now that net neutrality is over. The Obama era regulations ended on Monday. They required online service providers to treat all internet traffic the same. We need to make sure that every part of North Carolina has access to high speed internet. On Tuesday, during his stop to the east, we asked Governor Roy Cooper what's being done at the state level to protect North Carolinians from unfair prices from Internet providers. This was his response. My budget provided for $20 million to encourage public-private partnerships to expand broadband. Uh, the budget that uh, the legislature is about to pass only provides $10 million. We need to do better than that. The governor pointed out what's been done in public schools. One good thing we've done is connected all of our public schools in North Carolina, but some of the kids who have their device in that school and get their homework in that school, when they go home, they don't have access to broadband. So we need to make sure that we expand it. State Senator Jay Chudhury recently filed a bill he hopes will protect North Carolina residents and expand educational opportunities. In a statement, the senator says, my bill seeks to prohibit internet service providers from blocking and throttling services. Given the repeal of net neutrality this week, it's very unfortunate the General Assembly's leadership has not scheduled a hearing for this bill that would allow citizens of our state to have access to the internet without interference from broadband service providers. As for now, We'll have to wait and see what happens. In Greenville, Nicole Newman, not on your side.